Welcome to my channel Chemistry Not Mystery. You can also visit my website chemistrynotmystery.com. This video is also available in Hindi and you can get its link in the description box. Today we are going to discuss tricks to solve numerical problems based on photoelectric effect. If you want to revise the concept, you can watch my previous video on photoelectric effect and you can get its link in the description box. So let's take a quick revision of photoelectric effect. According to photoelectric effect, energy of photon minus work function gives you the kinetic energy. Here work function is the minimum energy required to eject an electron. You can write the energy of photon as h nu and work function as h nu naught. Half mv square is the kinetic energy. Here nu naught is the threshold frequency. To solve the problems based on photoelectric effect, you just have to remember these two formulas and a few concepts. On increasing the intensity of incident light, more photons will be ejected and on increasing the frequency of incident light, kinetic energy of ejected electron increases. I have discussed all these points in my previous video on photoelectric effect. So let's try to solve first question based on it. Which of the following metal exhibit photoelectric effect readily? And these are the options. Cesium, Sodium, Lithium and Magnesium. They all belong to S block. Now place them in their relative position. So Lithium comes first, then Sodium, then Cesium and Magnesium is next to Sodium. So you can see Cesium is the biggest one. So being bigger in size, its ionization energy will be least. That means the removal of electron from cesium will be easiest. So that's why the option A is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. The number of photons of light having wave number X in 1 joule of energy source is. And these are the options. So what is given in the question? Wave number is given. It is equal to X. That means nu bar is given equal to x and the energy of source is also given e is equal to 1 joule is given so first you have to find out the relation between energy and nu bar you know the energy of photon is equal to h nu you can write this as hc over lambda and 1 over lambda is wave number so you can write this formula as hc nu bar in the question, nu bar is given is equal to x. So when you place this value in the above equation, you will get the energy of photon as hc x joules. Now this is equal to 1 photon. So 1 joule will be equal to 1 over hc x. So this will be the number of photons present in 1 joule. So the option D is the correct option for this question. Now come to the next question. The threshold wavelength for ejection of electron from metal X is 330 nanometer. The work function E for photoelectric emission for metal X is and these are the options. So what is given in the question? Threshold wavelength is given in the question. That means lambda naught is given. But it is given in nanometer. So you have to convert this nanometer into meter. So 330 multiplied by 10 is to minus 9 meter. And they have asked us to calculate the work function E. We know work function E is equal to H nu naught. You can write this equation as Hc over lambda naught. By converting the value of nanometer into meter, you will get 330 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter and this is the conversion factor. Now we just have to place the values in the above equation. So here you have placed 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joules second as the value of Planck constant that is also given in the question. And 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second is the velocity of light C. And here we have placed the value of lambda naught. 
So when you shift the decimal point to left side of the number, you will get 3.3 .3 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter. Now you just have to do the simple calculation. It will get cancelled out by 2. Now you can and second will get cancelled out with per second. Middle will get cancelled out with meter. Now on multiplying 2 with 3 you will get 6. And after calculating the 10 raised to the powers you will get 10 raised to the power minus 34 plus 8 plus 7 joules. After doing the calculation you will get 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joule. And option C is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. In a photoelectric effect, energy of photon is striking a metallic surface is 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. The kinetic energy of the ejected electron is 12.01 into 10 raised to minus 20 joules. The work function is and these are the options. So what is given in the question? Energy of photon is given. It is equal to 5.6 into 10 raise to minus 19 joule. And the kinetic energy is also given. And it is asked us to calculate work function. And we know the formula. Energy of photon minus work function is equal to kinetic energy. Now you can rearrange the equation to get work function. So you will get work function is equal to energy of photon minus kinetic energy. Now place the values. Energy of photon is given 5.6 into 10 raise to minus 19 joule minus kinetic energy is given as 12.01 into 10 raise to minus 20 joule. For ease of calculation, you can shift this decimal point to the left side and you will get 1.2 into 10 raise to minus 19 joule. Now 10 raise to the powers are common. So you can take it out as a common factor. So you will get 5.6 minus 1.2 multiplied by 10 raise to the minus 19 joule. After doing the subtraction you will get 4.4 into 10 raise to minus 19 joule. So the option C is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. Kinetic energy of the electron emitted when light of frequency 3.5 into 10 raise to 15 hertz is made to strike on a metal surface having threshold frequency 1.5 into 10 raise to 15 hertz is. So what is given in the question? Frequency of incident light is given. That means mu is given. And threshold frequency is also given, that means nu naught is given. And they asked us to calculate the kinetic energy. We know the equation kinetic energy is equal to energy of photon minus work function. That means kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus h nu naught. When you take out h as a common factor, you will get h multiplied by nu minus nu naught. Now place the values in this equation. 6.6 into 10 raise to minus 34 joule second is the value of Planck constant that is also given in the question. Multiply by the frequency of incident light 3.5 into 10 raise to 15 per second. Hertz or per second both are the same things. Minus 1.5 into 10 raise to 15 per second. Here 10 raised to the power 15 is common among them. So you can take it out as a common factor. So you will get 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second in bracket 3.5 minus 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to 15 per second. After doing the subtraction you will get 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second multiplied by 2 into 10 raised to 15 per second. Now per second and second will get cancelled out. After multiplying 6.6 .6 with 2, you will get 13.2. Now you have to calculate the 10 raised to the powers. So you will get 10 raised to the power minus 34 plus 15 joule. After doing the calculation, you will get 13.2 into 10 raised to the power 
minus 19 joule. Now when you shift this decimal point to the left side, you will get 1.32 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule. So the option A is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. The maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons ejected from a metal when it is irradiated with a radiation of frequency 2 into 10 raised to 14 per second is 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 22. The threshold frequency of the metal is and these are the options. So what is given in the question? This is the frequency of incident light that means Q is given. It is the kinetic energy and they asked us to calculate the threshold frequency that means we have to calculate nu naught and we have the formula kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus h nu naught. When you take h as a common factor you will get nu minus nu naught. Now we just have to place the values in it. So you will get 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 20 joules is the kinetic energy that is given in the question equal to value of Planck constant multiply by the value of frequency 2 into 10 raised to 14 per second minus nu naught that we have to calculate. When you take Planck constant to the left side of the equation, you will get 2 into 10 raised to 14 per second minus nu naught is equal to 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 20 joule divided by 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second. After calculating it, 6.63 will get cancelled out with 6.63 and here joule will get cancelled out with joule. So you will get 2 into 10 raised to 14 per second minus nu naught is equal to 1 into 10 raised to 14 per second. When you take this value to the right side of the equation, you will get 1 into 10 raised to 14 minus 2 into 10 raised to 14 per second. So here 10 raised to 14 you can take as a common factor. So you will get after calculating it, you will get minus 1 into 10 raised to 14 per second. Here, minus and minus will get cancelled out and you will get nu naught as equal to 1 into 10 raised to 14 per second. So, the option D will be the right option for this question. Now, come to the last question of this video. Light of wavelength 500 nanometer is incident on a metallic surface with a work function 2 electron volt. The kinetic energy of most energetic electron is closest to. And these are the options. So what is given in the question? Wavelength of incident light is given. That is lambda is given equal to 500 nanometer. So first you have to convert nanometer to meter. So you will get. 500 multiply by 10 raised to minus 9 meter and work function is given and we have to calculate the kinetic energy. We have the formula kinetic energy is equal to energy of photon minus work function. You can write kinetic energy as h nu but in equation lambda is given so you have to convert this value in terms of lambda. So you will get hc over lambda minus work function. But one more problem is there. We know the value of Planck constant in terms of joule second. But here we have to use electron volt. So we have to convert joule second into electron volt second. If you know the value it's good. But if you don't know the value in electron volt you can convert it in electron volt. By this conversion factor. 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. To convert the value of Planck constant from joule second to electron volt second, you just have to divide the value of Planck constant 6.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule per electron volt. So here 
joule and joule get cancel out and you will get 4.125 into 10 raise to minus 50 electron volt second. This is the value of Planck constant in electron volts. Now we have value of Planck constant in electron volt. So we just have to place the values in the above equation. After placing the value of Planck constant and the value of speed of light in the equation and here is the value of lambda that is given in the question 500 into 10 raise to minus 9 meter. You can write 500 into 10 raise to minus 9 meter as 5 into 10 raise to minus 7 meter and after doing the calculation you will get 2.5 electron volt minus 2 electron volt is equal to kinetic energy that means you will get 0.5 electron volt kinetic energy. So, the option A is the right option for this question. I hope now you will be able to solve questions based on photoelectric effect. But even if you have any doubt, you can post them in the comment box. And don't forget to like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get a notification. You can also join my telegram channel or follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Stay safe.